get it though. He was doing brilliant at the factory. It just wasn't for me, Kurt, that's all. It was great you and me working together, brother and sister. It's like how same difference must feel. <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't change anything. What did Mum and Dad always tell us was the most important thing? Breakfast. No, family. That was going to be my next answer. <laughs> Morning, sexy. What, bro? I've got one, sir. Maria. No, I'm fine, sir. Just don't want me to drop Liam off at Louise's. Oh, please, Kurt. Yeah, just for today. I need to get a new job. Come on, then, big man. Oh. Let's go and get you ready. Oh, Come cheers. on. Oh. Oh, so you're definitely finished with the factory. Oh, I wish everyone had stopped going on about it. I, I thought you loved it. Really? What gave you that impression? <laughs> Am I missing something? And just forget it. Me and Carla were never a good idea. Go on, you get off to work. I'll be fine. Maybe about half an hour? No! No. I don't want you to be late for work. So she resigned? Just like that. Hardly just like that, was it? And this is about what happened when she came round to my house. I have apologised for that so many times now. Yeah, well, she's gone now, so we're going to have to deal with it, aren't we? Yeah. So she thinks Lisa's left for good? Well, so she says. You know, I think I'd have to flee the country if my fella held up a bank. How embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing? Julie, this is not breaking wind at a dinner party. This. It's full All right, everybody, can I have your attention, please? Right, then, listen up. A bit of parish news for you. Maria's resigned. How come? Well, creative differences. What's it to you? How come? I thought she liked it here. Yeah, well, she obviously didn't. What exactly are you doing to your PAs? They don't seem to stay around very long. Mrs Connor, would existing employees be able to interview for the position? No, Sally, I won't be needing a PA. Not now I've got Frank on board. Yeah, but I won't be fetching you a morning brew, you know that, don't you? No, I didn't mean that. Besides, you lot are far more valuable to me, exactly where you are. And you know I don't like giving praise, not even when it's deserved. I mean, in fact, especially not when it's deserved. But half the reason that Frank's invested in this place is because of you lot. A business is only as good as its workers, and as I keep telling Carla, you lot are the best. Right, so who wants to get the cakes in? Oh, I'm the expert. No. Usual ladies. Oh, Mrs. Colleen, you know I've got the afternoon off. I've got the hearing with Kevin about the scratch card money. You go. Thanks, Mrs. Colleen. Well, you uh, certainly know how to handle that. No, oh, them I can handle. Yeah, I wouldn't ask only the uh, child mind is busy. And I've got this aid in this afternoon with Sam. Well, he's trying to find someone to dump Jack on, as per. Oh, yeah, of course. He's got that court thingy today with my mum. Oh, we'll keep his hands on all that lovely dosh. You right, Dad? No, I can't get anyone to look after Jack. We've got this hearing this afternoon. We Mum Sunita was going to look after him, but she's got to go out. Well, I can do it if you like. Yeah? Yeah, of course. Dad, you have enough to worry about. Oh, that'd be great. Can you pick him up from Sunita's about half twelve? Yeah, sure. Remember, he's a little boy, about so big. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Just been in to see Roy. See if he's got anything well to find something permanent, but no luck. You're better than that, can't you? Can I? I hardly set the business world alight at the factory, did I? Well, how about we have a drink at dinner time, put a rest together? No, I can't today. I want to update my CV and maybe get a gazette, see what's about. I'll catch you later, yeah? Cheryl. I'm busy. Uh, you, you've been shooting your mouth off to Maria about me. Oh, look, I don't know what you're talking about. I just do, want eh? Morning, both. Having bored eggs. I'll alert the Gazette. <laughs> you not got me bacon on? I'll alert the Gazette. <laughs> Is it OK if you have a bath? Oh, of course you can, look. And how many more times you don't have to ask? Oh, hey, I'm here. I brought you some new towels. Oh, they've washed lovely, these. Where would you wash brand new towels? Because I don't like the smell of the shop on them, that's why. And use some of them posh bath salts of mine on the side. Ta. How long are you going to be giving me the cold shoulder like this, eh? Long past cold shoulder. This is medium frosty, this. Oh, come on, love. Look, we, we, we can't have her making things up, telling lies and that. It's no good for her. Or us. 
kid. She's a kid. That's what they do, especially those that have been through what she has. She needs a secure place you can call home, not you picking her up over every tiny thing. All right, all right. I'm, I'm sorry, I'll try harder. I'm just going to let myself for the moment. All right, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Work's a waste of time. Business is that bad, it's hardly worth going in. Stop moaning about everything. We've got this wonderful new start with little Faye and all you can do is see the downside. I said my job's rubbish, that's all. If you don't like your job, find another one. But stop coming to me with all your whining. We need solutions, not more problems. Good boy. Just go to work, Chaz. We need the money. Look, Gary's manning the stall for me, it's OK. Yeah, and you'll have to pay him, won't you? I can't leave you like this. It's probably just morning sickness. That's what the book says. Try and get a piece of toast down. I can make an appointment for you with Dr Carter. No. Last thing we need is people finding out about the baby. What if it got back to my dad? You could be going there for anything. People aren't going to think, oh, she's pregnant. Besides, it's all confidential medical stuff. I'm fine, honest. Probably back on. <laughs> Ladies? Hey, right, Charm I never saw a book in. Do you think it's wrong if someone my age was... Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh. I love them. Um, is it true, Carla says you resigned? I have, yeah. How come? Right. Can I ask yourself? Maria? I'm not interested. Look, can't we just go to the cafe to talk things through? I'm not interested. Anyway, I've got to go and get myself a gazette, look for work. Preferably someone without bait in the job description. Oh, please, come on, let's just go and have a chat. After everything we've been through together, come on, you can't object to a, a coffee and a tuna baguette, can you? Are you hungry yet, chicken? <coughs> oh, no. Hey, 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 John, quick, come here. Hope smiled at me. Yeah, a proper big smile. Are you going to smile again for your daddy? Oh, no. Oh. I can't believe I slept this long. Do you want a brew? John, can you at least try and show some enthusiasm? I think she smiled. That's really important. Sorry. I'm just so tired all the time. Even when I'm up, I feel like a flaming zombie. Well, maybe you should go and see Dr Carter. Tell him how you feel. Maybe. Oh, I meant to get porridge yesterday. I don't know why you offered to look after the baby. Well, it's hard, Mum. I mean, I'm on your side, of course I am. But that little baby's not done anything wrong, has it? Oh, you sound like your father. Right, I better go and get Jack. Dad, I'm just off to go and get Jack now. I'm really looking forward to spending the afternoon with him. New suit, how much did that cost you? One of them discount places, 75% off. Totally minting, you're still a skin flint. I know what I am. No, we came to see if you wanted to lift to the haven. I'd rather be driven by Stevie Wonder. Right, so. Hi, Eddie. Just come in. Can't wait to take that money off you. Of course I didn't tell the girls why you'd left. What did you expect me to say? This is pointless. Look, Frank is buying into the factory, OK? With him on board, I'll be able to... Well, protect that lot's jobs for at least 12 months. All oh, right, so that's what this is about, is it? Protecting your staff? Partly, yeah. Right, so what about what I've been through? You were 100% behind me after it happened. In fact, you were the one urging me to go to the police. Based on what you told me, yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I've got to know Frank now, haven't I? And yes, I can see how what happened must have looked to you. Oh, Maria looks really angry. Mind your business, Sean, eh? Well, we need to know about this. This might affect us all. Come and talk to yourself, Sean. Sylvia, hello. How nice to see you. That bus service is a disgrace. The driver was eating a pasty when he took my money. Potato down his shirt, gravy on my ticket. I took his badge number. What are you doing here? Roy. Uh, hello. Um, uh, omelette and beans, yes? I came here to see you, Roy. Um, I'll tell you what, Sylvia. Why don't you take a seat and I'll bring you a nice cup of tea only. It's Roy's busy time. <laughs> So sit down. Uh, you must be shattered. Why? I sat on the bus. I didn't push it. I don't want to fall out with you. I really don't. Can't we just agree to disagree? After everything me and you have been through, Liam, Tony, everything, I can't believe that you're taking a stranger's word over mine. You're going to regret this. Is that a threat? No, it's a warning. I don't want to see you get hurt, Carla. Or any of the girls over there. I can handle Frank. Yeah? 
Like you handle Tony. Eh? Good luck with that. Maria. Oh. All right, gorgeous. If I said you had a beautiful body, would you? Get lost, you <laughs> Losing your touch. Stay away from me, you. Maria. I said can keep we sort away this? from me. Frank, let's go back to the factory, shall we? All I'm trying to do. I know, is love, but it's not the time or the place, is it? Come on. Maybe you me. What the hell did you think you're playing at, Chris? Just leave me alone, eh? Bye. Um, <clears throat> shall we, um, shall we head back? Oh, oh um, this is, um, Rose Mum, Sylvia. Oh, Rose Mum, eh? Difficult to imagine Roy as a little lad. Or having a mum and dad, even. I like to think of him as just emerging, fully grown, you know, from a pod or something. Who is this person? Uh, Sean. <laughs> Nicker Stitcher Extraordinaire. <laughs> he works with me at the factory. He must be very wearing. <laughs> Look, it'll calm down in a bit. If you're still here when I come back, though, I can give you a lift home. I'm like. quite all right, thank you. it will be no trouble, really. This is ridiculous. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Budge over. Mother, I do have a system. Yes, yeah. well, it's not working, is it? Apron. I don't like to leave him. Oh, she's his mother. Or as I like to call her, the final piece of the puzzle. Mother, there's really no need. Yes? Um, tuna sally and white, please. Uh, you? Meat and potato pie and chips, please. Yes, you don't look a salad type. Sit. I'll tell you what, it's not as friendly as Jack and Vera made out round here. Shh, she might eat. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Webster, please. I didn't want it to come to this. I don't even want a divorce. I was thinking last night about the first time we met. You were splashing me in your van. Me giving you a right mouthful. It was just kids. You were so awkward and tongue-tied. So handsome. I think I fell for you right there and then. Now look at us. Hiring strangers to slug each other off. You've ruined the best thing that ever happened to me. Mm, I wouldn't say that one. Mm, I've got nerves to steal me. Afternoon. After me. Oh. Afternoon. Sorry, love, was that me? Can I use the toilet? Oh, please, love, you don't have to ask, really. I hope she settles soon. Oh. How was work? Oh, Apache. Had to take Sally to some court in town. I think she's trying to get her hands on Kevin's scratch card money. Oh, sounds horrible. Yeah, I always thought them two were solid as a rock, like us. Anyhow, uh, what you were saying before about me finding a new job. I've been on the phone to Arlen. In Germany? Oh, oh, don't worry, I used the cab off his phone. And, uh, you know that building job is on? Well, he says I should go out there and join him. He says the money's unbelievable, so... You want to work in Germany? Aye, Konigsberg. He says it's great out there. It, it, so I've sent him my uh, details and he got back and he said it's a yes. You've just adopted a little girl. You can't beg her off to Germany when you feel like it. She needs you. She needs the both of us. No, no, not on my own, all three of us. Len reckons we'll have it twice as good as we have here. He's even found his house. Look, new job, new home, new start. Well, you said you wanted solutions. Hello, Sylvia, <laughs> still here? No, I left about 40 minutes ago. I've got Count to do some errands for me boss, so I've had to come back for my yeah. car keys. <laughs> Checking up on me more like. Oh. Oh, oh. Did he get a chance to talk to Roy? What, the master of avoidance? Of course not. <laughs> Look at him. Pound to a penny, that's the speaking clock. He was just the same when he was a boy. Whenever I needed to speak to him, there was always an urgent jigsaw needed finishing. <sighs> just give me two secs. Press three. <clears throat> He'll call you back. Go and talk to him. I was talking to my ex supplier. Go and talk to him. I'll make you a brew, honestly. Sorted out your egg emergency? 
Yes. Let's sit down. I was clearing out the attic. And I thought you might like this. It's my train engine starter set. Your father and I bought you that for your sixth birthday. Never seen a boy more excited about anything. Mother, th th this is... Thank you. Look, look, Hayley. <gasps> He's mentioned this lots of times. How come you were cleaning out your attic? <laughs> He's not normally the sentimental sort. No, well, neither am I. I've sold the house. Well, I, I couldn't stay there with Roger gone. Too many memories. But where are you living? It's called Twelve Oaks. It's not far. A oh. home. Assisted living. And it's only temporary until I buy somewhere else. It's a rather good place, as it happens. Almost palatial. Yeah, I, do, I just think... Uh, <sighs> Listen, then, that offer of a lift home's still there if you want it. I've got these errands to run, so it'd be no problem. Well, I've missed the 20 past bus. All right, then. I suppose it'll save me being sprayed with pasty again. <laughs> Get me car keys. <laughs> want a brew? Oh, uh, no, I won't stop. So you said you wanted to come round? Yeah, no, I, I just think we could save ourselves going through all this. All right, you've lost me now. Do you want to sit down, at least? No, I know what's going on. Now, you, you've been so jumpy lately. Like, flinching when I come near you, dead uncomfortable around me. It's not about you. No, I, I don't blame you. All right, there's stuff you've heard about me. How me and Cheryl used to fight. What was it, Cheryl? Oh, Lloyd. Finally convinced you I'm the wife being bullied. They always said I was. Chris, I'm telling you that it's no, not. It's true. Uh, I, I hate her. All right, a couple of times. I hated you working in that strip joint. I hated it. And I got so jealous, and we'd fight all the Don't time. Don't do this to yourself, and I, please. I just want to make a clean start of it. And I, I, I hate what I did. Um. And, like, now it's just going like, to follow me around forever. Give a dog a bad name, eh? And I'll meet someone special, like you. But eventually, the whispering starts, and... Chris, look... I'm really glad that you told me this. I am, and we'll talk about it properly, of course we will, but... <sighs> but none of this is about you, right? It's about the factory and why I left. Oh, so when are you going to let us babysit this one again, then? Blimey, you're keen. Well, she's my niece. I want to get to know her, don't I? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Hello. So is everything all right with you, Chess? Yeah, Any news? Me. Gossip? Scandal? Ah, uh, no, no, no. Same old, same old, you know. <clears throat> it's the surgery. What? I thought you said they were chocker. We've had a cancellation. So how are things with you? Oh, John wants to come off his pills. Really? Oh, the only thing stopping yeah, him from going great. radio rental. Yes. Yes. Five o'clock. I'm sorry. No problem. Yes, I'll, I'll be there. You're not going to answer it? Uh, yes, I can bring those with me. Thank you. Joy solicitor keeps Thank ringing me. Well, what for? I don't know. I'm not answered. I'm too frightened to. What if he comes round here looking for you? Got an appointment at five o'clock. Hope that puts your mind at rest. I just need to clear my head. I've been revising history and English all afternoon. My brain's that frazzled that I've got the outbreak of the First World War being caused by the assassination of Heathcliff. I'm just going to smile and nod and pretend to know what you're going on about. Fancy sneaky brew with me? I'm on the cake run. Oh, no, ta. I thought you needed to clear your head. So you're in a custard slice. You could never resist a custard slice. I know, but I've actually got an appointment at the surgery, so... Hey, what for? Oh, nothing. I just... I've got a bit of a stomach upset and my throat's a bit scratchy and I, I just don't want to come down with anything before my exams. Do you want to come with you? No, no, don't, don't do that. Um, it's probably just a stomach upset and too many nights hitting the books. You do look a bit run down. Oh, thanks. I know you two are strapped for cash at the moment, but you can't go scrimping on food. You two sure you're eating properly. Look, stop it. You sound like Dad. I could easily lend you a few quid to tide you over. Honest, it. we're fine. Just stop worrying. At least tell me what the doctor said, yeah? I've only got one sis and I'm depending on her to become a hotshot lawyer or something. So, I can become a kept woman for the rest of my life. Yeah, fat chance. Just do overdo it with the revising, eh? 
You're going to sail through these exams anyway. Well, I better get going. I'm going to be late. See you. But you said Carla went round to Frank's with you. Yeah, I lied. Sorry. I was embarrassed and, and knew how it'd look. Uh, and then he tried to rape you. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Right, well, you'll never have to be scared of him again. Oh, Chris, no, wait! This is why I didn't tell you! And although Mr. and Mrs. Webster were separated, they were still married when Mr. Webster bought the scratch card. Uh, they were living apart. Mr. Webster was pursuing a divorce, which Mrs. Webster was just about to sign until she learnt of Mr. Webster's good fortune with the scratch card. Do you really think I want to stay married to him after what he did? Mrs. Webster, if you could just... I just want what's rightfully mine for me and my girls. Do you really think that you should be rewarded for having an affair? So his wife found out that he was playing away, so she chucked him out, so he should keep the money. Is that your argument? Sally, please. But please. your husband isn't the only one to uh, play away, as you put it, is he, Mrs. Webster? Do we have to go there? Well, yeah, of course we do. Your husband forgave your affair, didn't he, Mrs. Webster? A Mr. Ian Davenport, I believe, a wealthy former employer. Just when I think you can't sink any lower. Not Frank here. Uh, in the office. Hi. Uh, do you have an appointment? Um, can I help you? I think me and you need a little chat. And join us for more Coronation Street in half an hour.